Baik, Sarayamnya yang berada di Pejabat Pesuruh Jaya Tinggi Britain sebentar tadi bagi meraihkan pertabalan Raja Charles III. Ikuti rakaman awal temu bual bersama Pesuruh Jaya Tinggi British ke Malaysia, Charles He petang tadi. Baiklah, terima kasih rakan setugas di Bukit Jalil. Kini saya berada di kediaman High Commissioner ataupun uh, Pesuruh Jaya Tinggi British ke Malaysia uh, di Lorong Binjai untuk upacara bersejarah iaitu upacara pertabalan Raja Charles III. Uh, kali terakhir upacara sebegini ini berlaku adalah 70 tahun yang lalu iaitu uh, pada masa Ratu Elizabeth II pada tahun 1953. Jadi tanpa membuang masa kita akan tanyakan um, His Excellency uh, Charles Hay, apakah maksud pertabalan kali ini bagi uh, warga negara Malaysia dan juga warga negara Britain di negara ini dan di seluruh dunia. Thank you so much for being here and for having me uh, at this very very um, historic day on this very historic day of course so um of course i i would like to just um ask you it's been 70 years since the first i mean since a coronations like this happened uh of course both of us were not born yet and a lot has changed since then so what can we expect this time Your well as you say this is a very very historic moment our first coronation for 70 years and in fact the last coronation 1953 was the first one to be televised and back then it was an amazing thing for people to, I mean, people gathered around their television sets. Very few people had televisions in 1953. But now, of course, this is the first coronation of the digital age. All right, so what do you think are we, are we going to see that's different um, aside from, you know, this? Do you think the crowds would be as, as um, large as it was before or would it be more? Well, you know, let's wait and see. The crowds are gathering in London. Everything is starting to come together. Uh, I think we will see very, very large crowds. Uh, we are, what we're going to see is a coronation that's slightly reduced in terms of length compared to the one for uh, Queen Elizabeth. And I think the, the King Charles wants to show the diversity and he wants to reflect a lot of his own interests, for example, in sustainability and the environment. And it will also be a big exercise to bring together all of the people of the United Kingdom, and not just in the United Kingdom, because, of course, King Charles is also king of 14 other countries, 14 realms. Uh, he's also the head of the Commonwealth, so there's going to be a very big Commonwealth uh, angle to it all. Uh, for example, we'll see soldiers from different Commonwealth countries on parade uh, in, the, in the movement between Westminster Abbey and the Mall and so on. Right, as you mentioned, um, Malaysia is a Commonwealth country. So uh, what does a, a British coronation actually mean to perhaps Malaysians, especially the younger generations that are probably less aware of you know, the history of the British monarch? Well, what you'll see is, is of course, special attention being paid to the uh, heads of state of Commonwealth countries. So the, uh, His Majesty the Argong is in London now with the Pemisur de Argong. They've already had a chance to, to see Prince Charles at an event, I think, yesterday for Commonwealth uh, Heads of State. Uh, they will, of course, have privileged positions in Westminster Abbey for the service itself. But I think you'll see a lot of references to the Commonwealth in different ways during the service and afterwards. So celebratory it is. Well, that's all the questions for me today. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for your time and once again for inviting me to this very, very special event. Itu sahaja daripada saya, Suraya Mia. Teruskan bersama Astro Awani. Uh, kembali ke studio.